Hi everyone, I'm Lizzie. Welcome to Lizzie Loves Languages. In this lesson, you will be learning about the demonstrative adjectives, or in Spanish, los adjetivos demonstrativos. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Let's get started. What are demonstrative adjectives? ¿Qué son adjetivos demonstrativos? Both in English and in Spanish, demonstrative adjectives indicate where someone or something is in relation to the speaker or to the person who is talking. Demonstrative adjectives in English are simple. Why? Because we don't have a gender. It is only number meaning that it's in two groups. We have demonstrative adjectives for the singular words and demonstrative adjectives for the plural words. For example, for the singular form in English, we say this and that to indicate this, something that's near you, and that to indicate something that's far away from you. And then the group for the plural, you have these, and those. These for something that's near you and those for something that's far away from you. Easy. We don't have a gender in the words in English so it makes it really simple. It doesn't matter if you say this dog, that cat, this child, that teacher, those teachers, that family. It doesn't change. However, in Spanish, like our words, we have a gender and a number. Look at this chart. In here you will find the groups of both masculine and feminine forms of the demonstrative adjectives. You will notice that we have not two, but we have three in Spanish. Three groups. The first group indicates the near you, something that's near you. The second group indicates something that is not so far, not so near, but in the middle. And the third group indicates things or people that are far away from you. I'm going to give you a few examples. I'll give you a Spanish word. We will analyze it together. We're going to see whether it fits feminine, masculine, singular, or plural. And then you will decide which demonstrative adjective should you use. Ready? Necklace. I am wearing a necklace. In Spanish, necklace is el collar. El collar is in masculine form. And I am wearing only one collar. Which demonstrative adjective should you use? Este collar? Ese collar? Or aquel collar? Correct. Este collar, because I am wearing it, it's near me. What about this book? This book is not so near, not so far, kind of in the middle. And we know that book in Spanish is el libro. I only have one, so that makes it a singular form. And it's also a masculine, because it's el libro. So, which demonstrative adjective should you use? Este libro, ese libro, or aquel libro. You're right, ese libro. Not so near, not so far, masculino, singular, el libro. This apple is near me. Apple is manzana en español, la manzana. La manzana está cerca. Which demonstrative adjective should you use? You know it's a feminine word. You know it's only one. Esta manzana, esa manzana, or aquella manzana. You're right. Esta manzana. Another example would be las maestras, the teachers. Las maestras is a feminine word, and it's more than one teacher, so it will be a plural word. 
So las maestras. Your teachers are not around you, they're in their homes. Which demonstrative adjective should you use? Estas maestras, esas maestras, or aquellas maestras. You're right, aquellas maestras. The next example is la mesa. La mesa de la cocina. La cocina is kitchen. And the kitchen is not near you, it's far away. And you're talking about la mesa. La mesa is a singular word and it's feminine because it's only one table and you have la, which makes it feminine. Which demonstrative adjective should you use? Esta mesa, esa mesa, or aquella mesa. Correct. Aquella mesa de la cocina. What about the tree that's behind me? The tree doesn't look so far and it's not so near me. And we know that tree in Spanish is el árbol. It's a masculine word and it's only one. I'm talking about only that tree. So, which demonstrative adjective should we use? Este árbol, ese árbol, aquel árbol. Not so near, not so far. Correct. Ese árbol. That was easy, right? Remember, in order for you to know which demonstrative adjective you should use, you have to check on your Spanish word first. Is it masculine? Is it feminine? Is it only one? Is it a plural form? Once you figure that out, you'll see that it'll be very easy for you to identify and use demonstrative adjectives. Are you ready for a quick recap? Let's go. Alright everybody, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Until next time.